Yeah, yeah, just a couple there, Sven, for sure. Yeah, so you could see this barn in the distance behind me. We're off of Highway 7 right now. You can see kind of the trees that are down. The roof of that barn is completely gone at this point. And then when you come over here in this ditch, you can see down here this metal that's just twisted up, laying here at the edge of the cornfield. I imagine it blew in from that barn over there. Now, one guy we were talking to, Gary Bennett, he came home from a fishing trip over the weekend and saw a complete mess. Now, before we show you that, I want to show you the video of the actual tornado that ripped through here yesterday. I mean, man, what a sight that this viewer captured for us. You know, and Gary came home, he saw a complete mess. Trees all over his yard, holes in his roof, blown out windows. Like I said, just came home from that trip and now he's got all of this mess to clean up. He says he's glad he was not at home during the storm, but man, he's got his work cut out for him this week. It's, it's going to be a lot of little things that are going to add up, I think. Uh, I've, my decks were destroyed. So the good news is in McLeod County, we know that nobody was hurt in the storm. So that is great news. Again, nobody was hurt in the storm here in McLeod County. But we do know that as everybody is starting to clean up today, the National Weather Service will be out here to survey the damage because they've got to figure out how big and how powerful this tornado really was.